which is uploading a video right now. All right, I got this thing quite early on in the summer. I kind of forgot about it. Old Delhi, or however you say that no, uh, name. And that is the original motor that came with it. Came with everything, even the belt. I believe it's an Emerson motor. Find my world's crappiest extension cord here. I guess shoving wires in it and arcing it so many times has messed it up. Shouldn't blame the cord. There, clean my floor a little more. Kitty, come here. Come here. Tell everybody how powerful the fan is. Hey, come here. Hey. <laughs> hey. Nope. She don't like that. You can tell this motor has just a little bit of bearing play. I believe it's got oilable sleeve bearings, yep. But it still runs like a charm. Well, I was scrubbing and waxing at work the other day there, and while I was waiting for the second coat of wax to dry on the floor, I, instead of doing something productive and making some money, I just stopped my time and went digging through the dump. <laughs> That's the most logical thing to do, right? Anyways, I went for a nice hike up on the mountain of goodies and found this thing. It looks like it's gotten kind of beaten up. It's been there for a while. Even had its motor on it still. To be honest, I'm kind of running out of room for all these darn barrel fans. They're kind of big things to hoard. It spins just like butter. So like, plane of the bearings never got messed with. You can kind of see how the housing's all twisted. Now you can really see it there. That ain't gonna stop me from firing it up and see if it works. All right, well this thing roared to life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's slipping real rank. And look at that, eh? it's just barely even turning and it's blasting out the air. Oh, there'd be a little scratchy and dry, the bearings. Seem pretty darn good to me. Wee wee bit of play, but what do you expect? This motor sounds extremely healthy. This belt's very loose though. Pulley's already warming up. Oh yeah, this pulley's pretty badly worn. I've seen worse. It's loose on the rotor shaft too. Well, we better tighten that up. It's already tight. Oh, what? This is an adjustable pulley? I didn't even know that. Look at that. <laughs> there we go. There's no way that pulley's gonna spin that thing up. She's way too closed. So let's just try it like this, actually. See if it'll spin up. The belt's not sticking in the pulley yet, so it can't be that bad. 
Okay. All right, there we go. She'll definitely spin up now with the outlet block there. <laughs> That's spinning real fast for this big fat hole. <laughs> it's just every little little gap is just blasting out the air. That air is trying real hard to blow through there. Oh, the motor works perfect. Forgot to show you the sticker. Pause if you wish to read this thing in intense detail. You can tell there's just not enough V left for it to actually really catch anymore. The belt has to be kind of over tight for it to work right. Still slipping. There, well, that's starting to get pretty darn tight now. Still slipping. <laughs> well, that's way over tight, but let's see what happens. something fierce it just barely kicked out of startup mode so we obviously know we'll never be able to run it this dialed up I guess I'll open that pulley up a little bit and we'll test her out at a more normal speed for no restriction Wow, that thing's just cranking out the air with this pulley turned all the way down. Maybe it could go a little bit lower. Imagine that, hey, look at this poor beat up old thing, and it still works like a charm. Oh, I guess this bearing isn't in very good plane anymore. As you can see there, I guess it's just flexing on the rubber deal in there. Pretty wild. 